This example asks you to find the definite integral. So you know you're looking at a definite integral when you've got numbers for bounds on your integral symbol here. So this is the integral from 3 to 7 of 9 over x dx. So that information up in front, that's just saying take the antiderivative between these values of this equation. And then the dx is just, again, directions telling us what variable we care about. So all we're really trying to take the antiderivative of is what's going on in between those pieces. Looking at that, what you have in front of you is what I refer to as a special case antiderivative. So there were uh, derivatives, I call them special cases, when you just have to memorize them, right? When there's no way of just following a specific rule like the power rule. The only way to know them is to memorize them. So when you were doing derivatives, that was trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, you just had to have memorized the derivatives of logs and natural logs. And so when we're undoing derivatives, you got to memorize going back the other direction. It's the only way you get back from those same special case derivatives. What we are looking at here is the special case when you have a number, any number over x to the first power. This is only for when you have a number over x to the first power. This came from the natural log. So this is going to be whatever that number is on top times the natural log of the, and the key on this is it's the absolute value of x plus c. Some teachers will let you get away with not putting that absolute value in there. Technically, it's there, and so unless told otherwise, I would keep it as a part of the answer. It's definitely always right. If you leave it out, it might be wrong. So that's the special case we're looking at here. We have a number over x to the first. And so we're just going to follow that special case scenario. So we'd say, okay, my a value is 9. So we get 9 times, and then this would be the natural log of the absolute value of x. When you're dealing with definite integrals, you get this little evaluation bar at the end. So it says evaluated from x equals 3 to x equals 7. We do this, we evaluate it by using what I just call the top minus bottom method. So we're going to take the top value, plug it into that equation, and subtract off the bottom value plugged into the same equation. So we're going to get 9 times the natural log, and instead of x, we'll plug in that top value of 7. And then we're going to subtract off of that, plugging 3 into the same equation. So 9 times the natural log of the absolute value of 3. And then from there, you're just going to plug that all into your calculator, and you're going to get out of value something around 7.625. And so the net area between the curve and the x-axis from 3 to 7 of this equation, our definite integral tells us is 7.625. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.